Welcome back with an update on this volcano. This will also might as well be Volcano of the Day for tomorrow because why not? Um, because I doubt I covered this yet for Volcano of the Day. Um, but anyway, Sierra Jorge or George, since it's Portuguese and they actually say the J. Uh, Fisher Vents, 3,455 foot elevation, volcanic unrest as of recently. Tend to be effusive with eruptions in 1580 and 1808. Um, the linear uh, Sao George Island is 54 kilometer long, long and only 6 kilometers wide. It was formed by fissure eruptions beginning in the eastern part of the island. Um, and then this is the reason why this is a thing. Um, so I think that might be it for background. Who knows? No, it's not. Mm -hmm. It's been quite the swarm. Why did that? No. Cool. What? Whatever. Point is, you just get back in here. We're good. Um, map did load earlier and load back up. Um, but anyways, the western two thirds of the dom of the dominantly basaltic San George volcano contains youthful fissure-fed lavas resembling those on neighboring Pico Island. Subaerial lava flows issued from three locations above the south central coast during 1580, producing lava flows that reached the sea. In 1808, a series of explosions took place from vents along the south central crest of the island. One of these fed a lava flow that also reached the southern coast. Submarine eruptions were reported on several occasions from vents off the southern and southwest coast. No satellite imagery. There's the map. It's being weird with that. Map is unavailable. And then this is why this is even a thing right now. The seismic swarm from Magma and Drusman could be precursor to volcanic eruption, which is a big thing for sure. The swarm of earthquakes has started yesterday under the s northwestern half of Sao George Island of the Azores with 19 earthquakes of magnitude 2.0 to 3.5 and many more smaller ones. Some were felt by the population. Um, there was no clear information yet to the cause of the seismic swarm, in particular whether it is likely caused by magmatic intrusion at some depth. With, which could be precursor to indication of the reawakening of the volcano, which last erupted more than 200 years ago in 1808. To better interpret these quakes, more geophysical data is needed, especially whether there is ground deformation as well. <laughs> Something to expect if magma influx at depth is indeed the cause of the quakes. The last volcanic activity from Sao George volcano occurred more than 200 years ago, 1808. Volcanic activity on the narrow elongated island is mainly related to fissure eruptions from the central rift system. Uh, the current seismic swarm makes many remember the earthquake swarms that preceded the 2021 eruption at, on, at La Palma in the neighboring Canary Islands. Now keep in mind, with how this island is shaped, I doubt anything is going to fall into the ocean and cause a tsunami. So before anyone panics, it's like, oh my gosh, tsunami is going to wipe us all out. It's not going to happen with this one. You have a better chance of winning the lottery than this thing causing a tsunami. So, um, and if it does, it will mostly be just be felt along the other islands in the Azores, and that's it. So, with that, that does seem to be it for right now. Stay safe. See you in the next video. Bye.